Are you ready? And you guys just do your wars elsewhere. I apparently have to fight Holland. And also, so, uh, we have to deal with the whole revolution spreading everywhere thing. I will just have to ignore that. Me. We I've, either I've ignore it or, or we end up as revolutionary Tibet and Japan. <laughs> yeah. Which is also something I was originally scowling at, and then I was like, well, it's not the worst in the world, but I lose the imperialism Cassus Belli. Do you? Yeah, apparently. I thought that was technological based. I think it gets replaced with Spread the Revolution cast a spell eye. Ugh, you know what's annoying? Going from what? any game with WSAD controls into U4. Mm. And it is just. Someone, that, this is where you get used to middlemost clicking. Mm. I forgot <laughs> about that, thank you. Well, I'm glad I said that out loud then. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, should I break my alliance with Britain, by the way? I see that someone was, uh... Uh, yes. I will break it. Uh... uh God, I hate the tricolors. Um... Yeah, what's, what's, what's Japan's tricolor, even? White, red, white. That white, red, actually white. makes a lot of sense. I do like that, honestly, so I'm fine with that person. Tibet, but I know is, Tibet is green, white, green. Nah, I'm not as big a fan of that. Khmer at least uses the colors already on their map, which is dark blue, red, dark blue. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I can become revolutionary, because we're already a... Uh... Already enlightened, so to speak. I can appreciate. Just... Delhi, let me through your territory, All please. Are you, ready? Yeah, I... Are you ready to start? Oh, I just realized, yeah, I declared war while we were still paused. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Stuff too. Okay, yeah, sure. Unpause. Right. Yeah, I've, I've got no revolution in my territory at all, so. I'm guessing you lucky bastard. All of my, like all of Korea, all of Japan <laughs> is revolutionary at this point. Well, I, uh, yeah. So I was wondering if it's part of the game mechanics. Uh, uh, otherwise, I would have expected it to spread from Tibet already, because I see it's it's all over the kind of um, Burma slash Ayutthaya region uh, to my north and east. Yeah. It will probably pop in at some point, but still, it's just in Ming at the moment, which is kind of mm. sad and hilarious. I'm sorry for Hobo for, um, for that situation. That's his, uh... So I realized there's a slight issue. I just declared war on Gujarat. I cannot reach them. Oh. Yeah. This oh. Delhi. Yell angrily in their well, didn't, didn't declare war on Delhi at the same time, I guess? I mean, I could, but I'd have to go to war with Dekan. <laughs> And he, he can't do that right now. Yes. <laughs> Man, every time I bring up the revolutionary tricolors, I get sad. Whales. White, red, green. Apparently they're a Christmas tree. <laughs> well, um, like, uh, sorry, uh, Tibet um, slash chaos. Yes. You're saying Mount Woolworth Deccan, I would be interested in helping you with that because potentially I could expand into southern India. Okay. Um, well, that's totally no. doable. I, mean, I am between wars until uh, my truce of Molochra expires in how many years? Uh, well, uh, I could launch a war. Let's see. I need to see where I am yeah. in terms of my aggressive expansion and tech. I've got 10 years before I can attack Malacca and uh, Brunei again. I s yeah, and I still have a couple of things, like I can... Oh cool, nice, I just got access because um, they asked for access through Delhi so that they could attack me. <laughs> <laughs> cool, smart move guys, smart move. That's some some gigantic brained moves there, like you know, giant cosmic brain. Yeah. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna stop building more ships. 
and stuff. Dude, I want to spend three thousand dollars for two base for two or for one extra development point. Tough choice. Uh, also, looking at the revolutionary map modes, I remembered a disgusting idea I had at one point. Yes. I would physically need someone else to help me because it would be be, be that terrible. Uh huh. Sap me. Or Revolutionary Sami. Sami. Ah, uh, the So the P is silent. Yeah, yeah it is. Well, I mean, they have a very interesting idea set in that it's not really that great, but just, you know, playing them and having them exist on the map at all uh, be very interesting. Just you have to release them. Either release them from Sweden or play Muscovy and conquer the land, and then release them from Muscovy. Neither of which are uh, easy options. The Ottomans are also extending the far's reach of their empire. Uh yeah, uh, that's that's going to be an issue. I really need to improve my relations with Persia some more. Yeah, that's right. I went religious because. I had already refused to harmonize with any religion. There's no point trying to harmonize the last 50 years. You will follow the yin yang of the world and you will like it or else. I'm really glad past me sailed the ships over here because I 100% would have forgotten. Spain is considering attacking Timbuktu. Well, there are two territories and allied with Benin, which isn't much better. take hilariously cursed things for 500, which is Tibetan imperialism off the Arabian Peninsula. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I think the more cursed thing is uh, Carlos Lu, the Confucian Spanish leader of Leon. As one does. Man, I've got incredibly low karma right now for some reason. Oh, I can't imagine why. No, neither can I. I have incredibly low harmony. I can't imagine why either. Just imagine sailing across the world and converting one of the most historically Catholic places to, uh, to a far Asian religion. Alright, I will take massive, massive overexpansion for 500. Oh dear, what did you do? No, no, I, I didn't take any territory, but I vassalized Gujarat and Hajramat. Ah. Gujarat, that was the target. Hajramat, I had to pay 200 diplo power for it, but worth. Yeah, Hajramat's a little bit far. Yeah, but I already had Oman, you see. And I'm honestly protecting them against the Ottomans at this point. Oh man, that's a good... You know what you should do? You should... 
I was gonna say you should try to get the Ottoman, uh, get the Mamluks on your side to protect them from the Ottomans, and I realized they're in the coalition against you. Gee, why yes, is there a coalition against you? Yes, I can't exactly. imagine why. Uh, the Ottomans can join a coalition against you, by the way. Unless yes. they're happy enough with you. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to, uh, going to warm them up a little bit. Just, uh, you know, appreciate the danger of the Ottomans and Deccan in the same side. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, sending one guy over to improve relations with Ottomans for a bit. Given apparently the Ottomans have reached critical mass on, uh, going out their natural Ottoman ambition, gr uh, offensive, and quantity, giving them 855 force limit. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> that is, uh... About as much as the top three of us combined. Japan, Tang, and Tibet. Khmer is, uh, f no wait, no, Force, that was just by, what was that even sorted by? Japan, Khmer, and me, would outnumber them, with Tibet at the bottom of the big boy list. Right, that's what I was. Alright, three more years and then I annex no guy. No guy can resist me for long. Um, PG 13. Oh, good that times. Seems pretty, pretty fair to me. Alright. Let's start this terrible, disgusting idea that I've just laid out for myself. Nothing could possibly go wrong as we seek to land on... Is there a way to, to like, well, exile your territories in friendly territory? <laughs> because right now, I have a big stack stuck in one bit of Gujarat. And Gujarat moved an army onto it, and now it is starving. And I can't move it off. Nope. Okay. Alright, lads. There's no better place to land than Hampshire, which I guess has, uh... Oh, hey, that's, that's where I live in, in real life. I was gonna say. <laughs> Also appreciate the continued rolling of generals that have absolutely no siege skill whatsoever. Mm. Not like, well, I guess London's still a castle. Uh, those filthy British in their traditions. Well, the Ottomans are occupying Delhi right now. Hey there, Ottomans. Let me just, uh... Massage the Ottoman relationship a little bit. Is that what they're calling it now? Yes. Come on, siege gen. No, of course not. Why would I be so gifted? The only siege general I have is my king. I'm sorry, Daft, your home has now been invaded by uh, the Chinese. Oh, well, goodness. Um, my home is Khmer, so... Uh... <laughs> yeah, there we go. Where are you at? Where are you at? <laughs> You do what you got to do over there. That's filthy Europeans. Oh, 
filthy, filthy. How the only remaining ally in the world for Great Britain is the Iroquois. <laughs> wow, releasing uh, Scotland. Is uh, not a lot of land. Do not worry, Welshmen, we come in peace. Do not resist. Oh, I found the British Army, who are apparently uh, hanging out in Scotland. Can't imagine why. Mm -hmm. I know uh, Just the British wonderful Army relations. Thinks, yeah. yeah, I know the wonderful relations they have with the Scots. I don't see why they'd ever need to deploy their army up there. And uh, they decide that the best place for them to go free is Cornwall, which is a dead end. So I can literally just lock them in as more and more of my land gets revolutionaried. Jesus Christ. There's 69,000 English in Cornwall. Holy heck. It's okay, I'm there with 120,000. So I think it's fine. So I'm just working on getting my relations high enough with the Ottomans that the Ottomans don't join in this uh, big block against me. So I'm willing to fight everyone else, but yeah, getting the Ottomans against me would be a bad time. A hilarious time, but a bad time. Alright, alright, what's all this then? Believe. Holy crap. Well, the uh, English didn't have very much money.
As a not Englishman daft, what would you say about the uh, English army getting wiped out in Cornwall? Um. Well, you know, my, my loyalties are split because my family is from Scotland originally and uh, Ireland, if you go back far enough. So, yeah, I'm kind of kind of neutral. I'm sure the English deserved it. Imagine being from Newfoundland, and uh, you're told that you're going to the jungles of the Congo to go fight Chinese people. Oh, that's how she said, boy. Why Japan is destroying the Dutch on the other side of the? There are many good questions. Lake. All right, I've almost finished annexing Nogai. You know, game, when I told my dude I want to walk, I want to click over there so that way the ships just automatically sail, I didn't expect the English to have access from Sp where I am in Spain to the British Sahel region. Which means I have to do it manually. Well, at least he didn't die in battle. My leader just decided to die on his way to battle instead. Mm. Wait, so the, the Emperor of China is over there in uh, England, is that what you're saying? Uh, he's in Africa, leading oh, the troops oh, wow. to chase the English. Oh my goodness. And from what I know about the uh, the ancient Chinese emperors, apart from like the early early dudes, they they didn't really have a tradition of going out with the armies uh, and doing fighting stuff. Well, we're so more forward thinking uh, over here in Tang. Yeah, I mean, we did let Tibet. We did let Tibet um, exist long enough to take uh, natural Chinese land. Hmm. If it's More mountains, cool. it's not natural Chinese land. We know this. Except for that one cool bit. Your ships shall not stop me this easily. Wow, I gain ships. English fleet is no match for Mega China, apparently.
I mean, it is only a hundred and ten heavy ships. Just a little bit. Wearing off 270 aggressive expansion with Gujarat will be tricky. <laughs> Just slightly. Sure, it'll be fine. They'll accept you. They'll accept me in time. Just like the British will accept the Chinese, I'm sure. Exactly. The British are nothing if not an adaptable people. The Iroquois have landed in Leon. Oh. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Iroquois invasion of Europe? Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, they are, you know, fully westernized in 1700s at this point. They have modern tech. Wow. Japan should do something about that. Uh, okay? They'd have to go through multiple people to do that. Yeah, I... Oh, God. Yeah, I... Uh, I'll, I'll figure out after, like, Netherlands. They're still totemist, but they are uh, indeed westernized with boats. All right, England, have you had your fun sieging my land and pretending that you're useful? Wow, that would be a lot of war score. Guess I'm not doing that right now. Everything is going revolutionary. That's the fault. God damn it. English have anything I want anywhere? I don't think so. Well, actually, it did take that from me, so I'll take that. Complete my uh, stuff over there. Ooh. Well, thank you, no guy. You did a good job, and now uh, you've been fully assimilated into to blob. Uh -huh. uh, I was just looking at my revolutionary percentage. Ah. Mine is somehow only 53 at this point. Mine is uh, 55. Oh, what do you see? Um Percentage, did you say? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you click on your government tab, you'll see a little revolutionary uh -huh. hat, and it will hover over. The revolution is spread mm. to 55.1% of Tibet. Um, I'm not seeing that. So you I'm might not. At the good... Yeah. So, you know, when you open up the menus, you've got the government one with, like, strength and government and all those things in there? Yeah. Under country modifiers, any. do you see a hat with a little red bar filling up underneath it? 
Uh, no, uh, where's the country modifiers exactly? There's, there's the bar uh, at the top, which is a reform progress. Government. Obviously. Oh, you're looking at something different. You're looking at something different. So okay. hit, uh, hit, hit the number two on the keyboard. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Um, That's the government. Okay. Tab. Yeah. I s okay, yeah, I've got you, got you. Um, sorry, I got those oh, mixed good. up. Yeah, I have zero percent, which makes sense because I I don't see anything on the uh, Republican. Uh, Maybe people on already have free map. Uh, apparently, yeah. So, that moment when Leon is promoting settlement growth in a territory so I can't convert it for them so it will ever be cat for forever be Catholic. Because reasons. If there was one thing that I could say I wish there was more of, there was more, there would be more control of your vassals so they don't do dumb stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few select things they do that are dumb, though. Like, oh, their capital's going to be a fortunately just a few early the rest of the game. And technically, if I left them there long enough, they would have converted to uh, accepting Confucianism either way. I, that's just not the playstyle I'm doing because it's against the normal Confucian playstyle. So. 50-50. The British are so angry that uh, they're also hiring their peasants to do their dirty work. And they're particularists, who are particularly annoying. <laughs> well, why was Iceland spying on me, of all people? Wow. Uh, never know um, about I, those Icelandics. I've got to take a quick breath and break. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'll send my fleet to James Bay. Which way are you going, fleet? Uh, you are going... No, that's not a good way to go. Not that. Here. 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 I could also just like ask for Canada. Also an option.
Hello, hello, welcome back. Hello, hello, thank you. Everything's on fire. Uh. Uh, okay. so, Tang, I want bleed bracing rights if you're uh, like that. Thank you. Just now I can actually attack the Dutch. And I could also just like ask for. I actually oh. don't know. Ooh, uh. You know, I'll, I'll try to just do a naval landing in... So, uh, Hobo, I see you have rebels over in the uh, Maldives. I can take care of that for you, if you like, because I've got uh, 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 a force here like. ready to go. If you would like, I certainly wouldn't be against it. Ha ha! Screw you, you filthy Englishman! You're fighting your own Englishman! Ha ha ha! Oh wow, they might actually kill their other Englishmen, even though they outnumber them. Two to one. I think they do not, which is good for me. Deccan versus Sind. Yeah, I just There's stopped guaranteeing man. Sind a moment ago. <laughs> that would it be was, why. I, I, I was trying to get them to accept Vassalage and they wouldn't, and I'm like, you know what, you're not, you're not worth a Diplo point a month. Just not worth it. Well, you're welcome, England. I dealt with your rebels for you, so that way you can give up quicker. Now shoot! Away. From my Africa. Ah yes, the most important place on the uh, English Empire, Shetland. Oh yes, obviously. Yes. Law, I had a truce um, with Bohemia, I've forgotten about that. Sorry, but I just realized I can't actually move into your territory, apparently. Um, oh, yeah. you're free to ask for a way to do so. Let's see, so diplomacy, what do I have to do, is it? Uh, ask military access, okay. Yeah, I'm just doing an international tier war here, and I'm perfectly fine keeping it on two speed, it just requires a little bit of focus on my part. Go on. English have the Forlorn Hope stationed in Africa. <laughs> like the army is actually called Forlorn Hope. Wow. Oh, okay, that's weird. So the rebel army that was in the Maldives seems to have just evaporated. Uh, they might have teleported, but I, the yeah. land still needs to be resieged. Yeah, I'm sieging it down, but 
Yeah, that's, that's yeah. sad. But yeah, I know the, uh, the full on hope was an actual term in the British Army. With, yeah, there we go. It was the, uh, the assault party which were chosen or volunteered to attack an enemy fort or attack a breach that had been made by artillery. Um, so to, uh, most importantly, not die in the process. Um, well, I think the expectation was that they probably would all die, but they were uh, they were rewarded with uh, extra pay if they did survive. Congratulations, you get the pay of the guys who didn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we didn't uh, save any budget on that because, yes, we did that. Uh... When yeah. I unclick that allows me to do that, did I genuinely get more ability to take stuff? Like how I can't take the coast in the British Sahel region because they have a fort several territories inside the Sahel region. <laughs> Lake Chad too strong. Yeah, it's because they have a, have a castle all the way over there, and since there's a castle with a land connection to it, cannot take it without occupying a nearby fort. Nearby being relative, of course. Well, I'm happy that uh, regardless of whatever Spanish people, brand of Spanish people they are, they still get a chance to bully the natives, even if the natives come to their homeland. Because Leon is killing the Iroquois every time they land. Something, something terrible jokes. Yeah. So, Daft, if you'd like to go to war with Dekan um, to take a bunch of the Coromandel node, I'd be happy to support mm -hmm. you. Uh, I'm currently just working off a bunch of aggressive expansion, so you can take most of the stuff here. Uh, sure. As in, I want to weaken them, but I can't really take a ton from them right now. I might be able to take a couple of provinces, but, you know, I have to, have to budget carefully. So, Dekan's allies are Bengal and Delhi. So actually, I might I might finish off some of Bengal perhaps, but uh, if you're ready to go, tell me, and I will start getting my troops ready for that. Ah uh, yes, yeah, sorry, two seconds. I'm just having a bit of a crisis right now with accepted cultures, and I realize I can't promote any of my advisors because they're all uh, non-accepted cultures. Mm -hmm. So um, I can promote a couple more. Uh, right. Revolution is spreading throughout Mongolia. Yeah, that was kind of funny, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it started in Mongolia. <laughs> interesting place for it to happen, for sure. Yeah, I've got 99.75 absolutism, so... Uh, it definitely sinks my minimal local autonomy. Rather floats. Uh, yeah, chaos. So, uh, sorry, I was I kind of zoned out there for a moment, but I'm yeah. uh, organizing my fleets now. I just built a whole lot more ships. Uh, I've got my advisors sorted. So, um, yeah, I would be able to uh, to go and do stuff in a few moments. All right. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, let's see. A time that could be very nice is early in the new year. I'm pretty close. I can get my next Miltech way ahead of time. Oh, cool. And honestly, it might be worth it. Just to get a little edge on the deck on.
what do you think about that, Hobo? Do you think it's worth getting a military tech 12 years ahead of time if you're about to go to war with a major power? Uh, it depends on the tech. This one's for cavalry, so no. Alright. If it was, you know, against the Ottomans, I'd say we need every edge we can get, but uh, not so much. Not against Stikon. Yeah, it's better to just reinvest that into your land. Try and yeah. even out your development just so you can construct more buildings. I thought just but... randomly, randomly sailed into a trade fleet and just destroyed it. That's what I've been doing. I've been flattening out my development so I can put things uh, basically everywhere. Ah, come on, I finish that now. There we go. Only place left is up here. Alright, so when would you be ready to declare war daft? Um, any time actually, so I've got 4,000 gold in the bank, all my fleets and troops are actually on full readiness right now. Okay, uh, I'll um, start raising my troops. Alright, army maintenance is up. Okay. Uh, I'm good to go to war when you are. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry, who are we fighting again? The Deccan This would friends. be, yeah, yeah, this would be you fighting Deccan, and I'd be, uh, helping you just beat up all of the various Indian states. And you can grab hmm. as much of Coromandel as you can manage. Okie dokie, uh, yeah. Well, that was a, at one point my plan that had plan has uh, passed, I think. It's a little bit too late to try and forcibly resuscitate Fiche. Yeah, we're now at the point where we're not making new Fiche, we're making Cambodian Coromandel. Yeah. I mean, Madurai may have been nice, but eh. Oh, with only 70 years left, not worth it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm loading 100,000 troops in, uh, sure. in the Cameroon coast right now. Okay, uh, wait. Although I guess if Def wanted a favorite alloy, he could uh, resuscitate Madurai. Madurai has good ideas, and they're in the Coromandel region. Also, Dekan's he... still fighting Sind, so this is a decent time for us to fight them all. Oh, they just ended that war. Ah. Uh. Right now, they just literally took a bunch of stuff from Sind. Wow. But Sind is still alive, so we can potentially force them to return it. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I know, there's a good <laughs> joke about that. No. Okay, well, I'm heading over to uh, Sri Lanka with 96,000 troops. 155 heavy ships, 35 light ships, four galleys, 96 transport ships. I hope this will be useful. Did you remember the partridge in the pear tree? Uh, no. Oops. Sorry, that's the most important part of the, the expedition. Yeah. Oh well. Well, I'm good to move when you are. Well, should I let you know when my fleet is off the coast of the, uh... I should honestly attach my fleet to your fleet. I'm moving it to the Comoran Cape, the area between Sri Lanka and the mainland. Oh, you know, yeah, the I'm, I'm heading to the same area. Cool. You know the fact that a African castle has reached 85% siege progress? That's literally the only thing keeping this war alive? It's a little bit disgusting. Mm. Okay.
good to go, good to go. Okay, yeah, me too. Should I? Do you you, to you, you should, you should declare probably the declare the war, I think, um, so that you can grab the most stuff. But if you'd like, I could also declare it, and then just give most of the stuff to you. I'm, no, I'm happy to declare the war, so I, I go, sure. uh, let's see, declare war, imperialism, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, imperialism with Dekan as the, ta as the target. Um, do I want to call in Bengal or Delhi as, sorry, not Odo, I mean well, let's in, see. but uh, uh, Bengal's as... allies, Bengal would bring in Malacca. Uh, Which, to be fair, you can fight Malacca, I think. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I probably could. I'd need to send a bunch of ships back that way, but... Uh, well, you've got some guys right on the port right there, and I'll just attach my my fleet to yours, actually. Okay, well, I'll, uh... So, I'll call in... Sorry. Co-belligerent Bengal. Co-belligerent co Bengal, and that will call in... Don't bother co-belligeranting Delhi. Mm-hmm. So, I'm calling in to bets, um, and... Yeah, okay, good to go. Are you you good to go? There you go. Let's roll the dice. Good to roll. Oh, and I just got a victory card, apparently. Uh, yeah. Wait, declining Check population? Action. Oh, okay. I just clicked it and didn't think. The elephants are dying. Let's get more elephants from Africa. And to be fair, there is a... Trade network here for us. Oh, uh, I'm coming for that battle that's happening in the Andaman Sea. Oh, uh, your guys just ran away from there. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to try I, and engage them. I had literally all my heavy ships in the uh, off the coast of India. I'm going to try and combine my light ships that I have off the. Uh, well, Strait of Johor, off of Singapore. Oh, the nation isn't going to like me holding on this for too long. I'm gonna have to deal, and I'm gonna have to deal. I'm losing the naval battle. They've got 44 ships, I have 134, but because I don't have heavy ships, and fine. Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry, I moved my guys off to fight those that other force. Uh, should I go to Straits of Johor with you? Or? Um, if you've got any heavy ships, that would be useful. Um, I have otherwise... a couple, yeah. I'm losing a morale fight, but I'm, I'm doing damage to their ships, so just my morale is... ...evaporating. Oh, and you've got an army uh, sitting in Assam right now in eastern India. Oh, okay, yeah, thank you. There's a lot of things happening at once. Let me know okay, so now that I'm in, unloaded all my armies, I can send some heavy ships back that way. Uh, right. Select this unit, and I'll split this in half. Uh, okay. Congratulations, Joachim. You are uh, the leader of the whole Roman Empire. We're off Joachim's in this timeline. We're left in the Yokomost timeline. Hmm. 
Uh, might be lagging quite a bit. Uh, doesn't seem to be responding to me very quickly. Okay, uh, right. Thank you, Hobo. Yeah, I think I'm okay now. I'm just having a moment of lag. All set? I think so. I think so. Let's give it a go. It is time to test out a Dutch army quality. Well, it is in a moment. Between Dutch and army quality in the same sentence. Hilarious. Let's see. Oh, oh man. Wait, can I actually do it now? Just a moment. Not oh, yet. Okay. Uh, it's only 100 more. Oh, wait. So, Malacca is retaking Sumatra because I don't have any troops there, but I um, should be able to uh, reverse that situation, Frozine. In the meantime, I'm uh, overrunning southern India. I don't see any nice. Deccan troops here at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Deccan troops are all in northern India right now. Uh, oh, yeah, I see them. They're fixing to get decked. Yeah. You want me to, like, YOLO a bunch of dudes all the way through India? I probably actually can't do that because I'll get blocked by forts uh, unless I go along the coast. They say you only YOLO once. <laughs> oh, nice. They're just sending force after force into a losing battle right now. Nice. Trying to help you stop rebelling against me. Oh, here we go. Big battle. Big battle happening just north of Delhi. It's uh, 90,000 versus 90,000. But my troops are so much better. I see that. Oh, yeah. I wish I could be helping, but oh, no, did they just right. run away? They just already <laughs> broke. You know what? Actually, that's perfect. That rebel is. Fantastic. I love you for rebelling right there because that's going to help my goals. Okay, I'm going over a river crossing. Let's go. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Over a river crossing into the capital. Oh my sweet baby McJesus monkey. Don't baby look at Jesus mainland monkey. China. I'm pretty sure that's not canonical. <laughs> Don't look at China, because Jesus Christ, the revolutionaries are angry. Oof. See how this... Oh, that's a lot of revolutions. Nice, yeah. Oh, I wiped them just. That was easy. Okay. Apparently we're playing Victoria too now, lads. Lol. Oh, for flip sake. Um, so retreating Deccan troops just destroyed 10k oh, no. of mine. I, uh, I couldn't dude. move on to the province because of the forts. Um, yeah. This is awkward. I may uh, defeat the rest of my army here. I did have a hundred thousand, but it's just... Well, I will do everything I can to grind down these forces in the north. The Irish do remember their roots. Yeah, I just lost like 50,000 troops here. Okay. Ouch. Hold strong, we'll be good. I might have to abandon uh, India here. I don't think I can do any more good. You still got a force in the sound, by the way. 
It's probably going to get wiped in a moment. Uh, they're sitting there. Yeah. It's uh, it's all good for the moment. Yeah, I've literally lost. I, I sent a hundred thousand over here, and there were, I've only got about thirty-seven left. Jesus Christ! What the heck happened? Do you want to run it slightly slower? I don't know if I would help. I just. Uh, I don't think I can fight these guys. I think I'm going to have to uh, evacuate. Hmm. So this says your ports are blockaded because they're blockading themselves in your foundland. Solid move. Post breached. You just. Uh... Yeah, they're, they're going to conquer Sri Lanka now. This is going to go really messy. Oh wait, no, some of my troops... Oh god. Some of my troops retreated to Sri Lanka and I didn't realize, and now they're getting wiped. Okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I just lost 20,000 on Sri Lanka. I didn't even know they'd retreat that way, and I don't know why they would have gone across the sea. Oh wait, now my fleet's being defeated off the coast of Deccan. This is I'm going, running. I'm running I'm, for it. I'm, I've got my guys racing better. towards def helping your fleet here. Uh, okay, so basically I can't fight more than one enemy at once. I think there's a lesson here. Do you want to uh, to switch it to lower speed just so you can keep slightly better track? I don't think that would help, honestly. I think no. it's, it's just a matter of force placement and the fact that... Okay. I sent all the ships and men against Malacca, which has uh, turned out to be not a good idea. Okay, well I can I can send some guys down that way. Okay, let's see what's what's happened now. Just a moment. Yeah. Oh, I'm unfortunately, my my tr my guys just arrived arrived at the coast of Coromandel right after your guys broke. Oh god. Yeah. Um. So basically, I'm going to lose everything in India and Sri Lanka. Um, I can't get to we're, my. We're still. But... We, we can still. We can still force up the war a lot because, as you can see, Delhi has been very badly spanked, and I'm just wiping down from the north. Okay. And Actually, there's twenty-three thousand Sindhi rebels that I'm just letting do what they want. I'm thinking maybe I should. I've got forty k. Well, on pause again. Are India? you guys fine should with that? I should I disband my army in southern India so they don't get the war score from wiping it? Because I, I can't retreat it. It's trapped by forts, and they're going to. I send... don't think you can. Can you disband it where it is? Yeah. Uh, well, well this is imperialism war, so the battles don't matter as much as the occupations. I think they're still strategizing. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but I just. Guys, uh, yes. should I unpause? I'm, a, I'm yes. perfectly okay with you unpausing. Okay. Just you know, time sensitive of deciding on whether to get rid of that army or not. Okay, um, now, I, now I own all of Netherlands, I guess, technically. I probably... <sighs> I should have talked to you, Chaos, about exactly how much yes. force I would need for, for the Deccan War, because I didn't, didn't know I was going to need like 300,000 troops and all of my I fleet. Think, hmm, I, I think the, the problem might have been uh, getting your forces split up at all, because they can do defeat in detail fairly effectively. Yeah, um, probably like co being whoever it was that brought Milwaukee into the war was a bad idea as well. Um, so. Bengal. Yeah. Oh god, dear. Australian Navy is getting destroyed by, uh... They can right now. This is an absolute disaster. 
Could we actually go down to speed one for a while? I'm yeah, sure. Let's to... go down to speed. I, I, I was suggesting that for a while. I think that that would be a good idea for this, since this is a big war. I'm going to need to fully mobilize whatever I can to try and rescue this. Absolutely. I can't believe I just lost like a hundred thousand troops, it's ridiculous. Yeah, you might have gotten that pop up. Yeah. Oh my god, the revolution. What's my eco looking like? Jesus. I don't know what Deccan's doing, but they didn't. They could have killed Deccan's my army. Deccan's sending a bunch of guys. Oh, they haven't? No, I'm going to re be able to retreat it now. The, the, uh, the remnants, the 37k that was left, will be able to get out. I don't know why they didn't kill it. I wonder how odd it would be for Cornwall to own all of Wessex. I think it sh should be within this, like the scope of things. What's going on here? Jesus Christ. So right now, I am in the process of completely pushing Delhi out of the war. So things are looking pretty good on the Delhi front. So we're also pushing up towards 10% war score, but we're reaching a point where we might fairly soon be able to uh, piece out the uh, the Delians. And then once we push them out, there's going to be a lot less to worry about. Oh god, I just had 20k troops wiped by rebels, which uh, I was even to them, but I went for the fight because I thought I could probably win with, you know, superior discipline and everything, but no, uh, they lost and they were completely wiped, even though they had territories to retreat to. There's been a little Delian army that's been just running silly loops. Is there any no. yep. Is there any mechanics that I'm missing right now? I've got full army maintenance. Um, I don't know for some reason why my troops just aren't fighting. Uh, if you'd like, we could pause for a moment and check army qualities and things like that. Um, sure. Okay, let's have a look at the ledger. Uh, I just had 20,000 troops just absolutely destroyed by rebels. Okay. Like, not even, they didn't even country. retreat, they just... Rebels do have equivalent to the country they rebelled from, so... Alright, so morale, your morale's great. 
Uh, Prussia, Tibet, Khmer, and Japan have the best morale in the game. Discipline. Mm -hmm. uh, your discipline's not great. Um, I'm at 125%. So how, so do, you, got, how do you raise discipline? Um, you could get the advisor for discipline. Um, you could get the ideas for discipline. Those are the main ways that you do it. So you can get an advisor who gives a plus 5% discipline, and you could go for it, and you'll find it in quality and offensive ideas. So well, mine... I have, all, I have all of those, I think. Uh, let's have a look. So I've got all of the... Oh, wait, no, I don't. Yeah, no, never mind. So I don't have those ideas at all. Yeah, so your, your discipline's 110%, and Deccan's discipline is not great. Uh, let's see. Theirs is 113, so it's basically even. Uh, professionalism. Deccan's got 81% professionalism, which is pretty good. And let's look at tradition. Um, you're not on the top page for... Uh, for military tradition, so that might be one of the things that's getting me a little bit just like poorer leaders. So what can I do about that? Uh, things you can do for that is your army tradition goes up by having castles. It goes up by hiring new generals. Right. Um, but right now, sometimes when you spread out forces and thinking, oh hey, I want to avoid attrition, I'll spread out forces... At this point in the game, that's a good way to get your army accidentally wiped out. No, that's not why I divided any forces. Okay. So, so they, yeah. they lost in pitched battles where you had your full force available. Um, not quite. So in Southern Deccan, um, I, I couldn't maneuver because of the forts mm. I was besieging, and I couldn't move to combine my forces. Ah, they it looked like... They they retreated from fighting you, and they came down here, and they just completely destroyed me. Me, I wasn't able to concentrate in one province to to fight them. Sure. Well, um, hey, so how they... about I, I've got a strategic plan. So they currently don't have any forces on Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. So. Um, if we want, we can resend our forces to a gathering point, like at Phuket or something like that. Yeah, no offense, but I I don't have any confidence of being able to fight in southern India based on what just happened. So okay, I I'm going to want to see Malacca completely taken out of the sure. war. Sure. Well, in that case, before I send anything. Here, here's my recommendation to, then. Uh, don't worry about Sri Lanka because we're not going to relinquish it in a piece because we're going to beat up. North India so hard that they are going to basically be forced to accept whatever peace we offer them. You focus on Malacca, get them out of the war. Malacca will be your target. My target will be keeping the full attention of the Deccan armies. Sound like a good plan to you? Yep, okay. Yeah, I'm, all I'm right. good to go. So you don't worry about India at all. I will send my fleet down to blockade the Straits of Malacca with you. Oh no, don't worry about that. I've, I've got plenty of ships here to be able to do Yeah, this that. is honestly for me to get naval tradition. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm good to unpause when you are. I'm, I'm uh, still yeah, comfortable right. on manpower, and I've got troops that can just really spank the... Uh, spank the Deccan forces when they come through. Also, we might want to look at uh, piecing out Delhi. Let's just pause a second again, since I just finished my big battle with them. Um, so, if we were to piece them out, see if you could look and if we could get any return cores for Bundelkhand and Gujarat. Preferably Bundelkhand. Uh, so sorry, what do you want me to do? Is this, uh, see, Bengal, see if we can get any de any deals to piece out Delhi that involve them returning some cores to Bundelkhand. Oh, uh, piece of... Uh, wait. I, I uh, can't we see can... like, the, what the war score is against Bengal in particular. Oh, okay. So I, I don't uh, well, oh, no, not sense. Bengal, Delhi. Okay, right. 
I might need to siege down uh, a bit more stuff first. So what do you want me to do? Sorry, oh, uh, just see course. if there's any cores that like. Uh, do you see Bundelkand? See if we can return some cores to Bundelkand, the little blue guys in the middle. Um, I don't see that. I can return cores to Tibet. I have cores. Wait, no, no. Sorry, I'm reading this wrong. Um. What's going to... Okay, I was looking at the wrong thing. Um, uh, so I can get... Sorry, did you say Gujarat? Uh, no, no, no. To to Bundelkhand. Gujarat is being a bad boy right now and doesn't get anything because the Russians are supporting their independence. There's, there's no options to return any cause to good, uh, Okay, uh, maybe I need to the, occupy... Uh, I think I need to occupy them first. Anything to Gujarat is, then? Uh, uh, yeah, plenty, plenty of stuff to go draw. Okay, cool. Um, well, why don't we just keep that in the back pocket then? I'm going to siege down some more of Delhi, but um, mm -hmm. if things start to get difficult, then we might just piece out Delhi first. All right, uh, All right. shall we unpause? Sure. All right, I'll unpause. Spain is preparing to bully the Iroquois after I bullied the British. And the British are not here. That's annoying. I just declared on the Iro Iroquois because the Iroquois are taking, taking something from Nova Hollandia, which is technically taking something from me. So I just declared one. <laughs> that would be why then. So Spain is also doing that. That's actually kind of annoying because. Currently, um, the enemy has gathered a decent sized force over on my front. Oh. But I it's I okay. Help, but... I can I can I can deal with it. You focus on Malacca because it's a deal with a large amount. I love that Khmer has somehow completely avoided. I guess stops at the the, the revolution. Yeah, I I can only guess this because I'm a Republican. Uh, yeah, I guess that can make sense. We already let the people vote. What do you want? <laughs> Okay, we'll see how this goes. So I've got. Oh, you freak uh, swat. <laughs> wait, why? Why can't I? What's up? Sorry, can we pause for a moment? Yeah, of course. So in um, southern Malaysia, there's forty-two thousand. Oh, it's because they. Is this a fort here? So, I've... Jesus Christ. Okay. It's fine. 
Okay. Yeah, I see why I can't. I can't move. It's just really frustrating. Okay. Okay, so the Marken army is moving past me and I can't chase them because of the forts that they sieged. Jesus Christ. Alright, here we go. Big battle in, Go in Gorwar right now. The AI is just running rings around me. Oh, nice. I just beat a huge... Oh, wait. Nope, nope. Hang on. It's a different stack. Okay, well, I lost the Battle of Gorwar, but I didn't lose it too badly. Oh, this is so frustrating. I'm trying to engage AI, but they, they keep changing... ...keep changing a destination every second. So obviously, uh, yeah, it's you know, the, com do that. the computer's yeah, doing yeah. all the ca calculations. It can do a million calculations per second. It's just knowing if it can win the fight or not. You have to wait for the uh, movement lock first. Also terrible is that we will always cancel something they're going to lose. Okay, so 134,000 of my troops this is 30,000 of this. It's the only way I could win. Sounds like a good strategy. And I better don't wipe them either. Nope, I haven't wiped them. Equivalent general strength. Oh, What's your requires get in touch. Equivalent general strength, what does that mean exactly? Um, there's several factors that cause a stack wipe. One of the largest ones is uh, a general being significantly more skilled than the other. Okay, well that's interesting. Improved relations goes up to 200 when there's your vessel, right? Oh, how are they? They're able to retreat across the Straits of Johor even though I've got my fleet here. Uh, because they control land on both sides. Ugh. So my fight doesn't even matter. It definitely does. We'll just need to get control of that land first. Oh, 
What's going on here? Jesus Christ. War is going well in North uh, India. Great. So. Me is asking for me to fight them, for for me to fight Russia right now. Uh, I think you're dead, Crimea. Uh, later, mm. later, Crimea. It's been nice knowing you. Decline. <laughs> Crimea River. Yep. Sorry, buddy, but I've got uh, I've got other people who have slightly uh, more important concerns at work right now. Do not understand. I got a feeling that the next big battle's coming up for me pretty soon. Go. Big Battle of Dundar. Uh, Dad, let's have a look at this moment. This is a very good moment for me to make peace with Delhi because a big stack of rebels just popped up on Delhi's capital. Okay. So, so let's see what do you want me, what um, do you want if we can me? make any pieces that will win uh, return cores for either Bundelkhand or Gujarat. 
Undergone doesn't appear at all. Gujarat can do a load of stuff for. Cool. Um, Baluch Baluchistan is there, if that's any good. Uh, oh, Baluchistan? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, uh, let's see what they have. Uh, yeah, we could we could give some stuff to Baluchistan, yeah. Um, but prioritize Gujarat. But uh, actually, let's give Kalat to Baluchistan. Because that's a fort. It'll get rid of a Delian fort. That's not on the list, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Wait, well, no, in that case... Okay, sorry. It, it is there, but it wasn't... I had to scroll down for the separate section. Okay, so Blatz to Baluchistan. Yep, can do that. Yeah, sure. And then, um... Uh, let's see. Uh, are they in alphabetical order? No. Oh, okay. Um, well, let's return cores to Gujarat such that they get their land connected back together. Uh, can you click on them on the map? Uh, maybe. I, th I guess I'm going to have to leave the uh, the peace deal interface. Uh, let's so see. Return what am I course. looking for exactly? Um, um, do I have the... to the cultural... Not cultural map mode. What, what do you want me to do? Um, let's... Uh, let, let me see. I'll, I'll, I'll check out what cores we can potentially return. So we can return uh, Ajmer to Gujarat. We can return... Uh, Biwara to Gujarat, and Chitor yep. to Gujarat. Yep. And uh, can we return Bundi to Gujarat? Or did they not have a core uh, on that? I don't know if they have a core on that or not. It's, it's not on the list here. Yeah, I don't think they have a core on that. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, so beyond that, yeah, just grab any other Gujarati cores that we can restore. Uh, um, until until Delhi won't accept that piece anymore. Once it's too much, we'll just make sure the price is okay, and then we'll piece Delhi out of the war. So you don't want any territory? Is that right? You just want me to restore cores to Gujarat? Well, um, yeah, for the time being, this is not a war targeting Delhi, so we'll take advantage of restoring cores to Gujarat. Uh, okay. I suppose if uh, we were that's... to return, if we were to return one thing to me, uh, it wouldn't be a return core, but it would be occupying Derajat, D E R A J A T. That would just be a useful place for me to have because it would give me a uh, a fort on the border. Nice. Okay. Cool. Now, uh, we can focus on dealing with, uh, the Deccans. Alright, let me split my forces after that battle. Alright, things are looking good. Alright, uh, I'm good to unpause. You? Hello? Awesome. All right, Gujarat is looking much healthier than it used to. So here's a question, Robo. Oh, you already did it. I was going to ask you whether you're going to give up the coal provinces too, but I see that you are. Is it coal provinces? Yes, no, uh, there's a coal province in Wales, there's one in Asia. Oh, I'm uh, doing stuff in in Britain. Don't you worry yes. about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technically there's five coal provinces in Britain, but I wasn't there for the money. Makes sense. So I'm sending 66,000 troops against these 20,000 rebels, which called my army last time. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. Nice, nice. I will, rather than doing an amphibious assault, I will land the troops in an adjacent province and uh, then move into their territory. 
did you do an amphibious assault last time? Uh, no, actually. I didn't. Well, if you wish to feel a little bit better daft, I'd like to direct you briefly over to uh, Britain. Uh, sorry, I'm going to have to pause the game for a moment. Uh, wh uh, what's happening in Britain? Ocean things? Um... Oh wow, okay. That's interesting. <laughs> I am uh, enlightening the Scottish first before I do let them... I see. Wow. It is indeed a confusing Britain. <laughs> it's a Confucian Britain. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you like the occlusion of Northern Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> um, th oh, that's it. gonna be troubles. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. Oh my goodness, I didn't, I didn't know you could re roll these holsters. I think such devastation. Uh, I, this was not I did my intent. intent. Um, all of the Irish nations lost their cores for releasable purposes, but when I took the land, they still rebelled as if they own those cores. So those three rebelled, got their cores back, and uh, as such, I released one as a vassal. I see. I, I was going to genuinely keep Ireland for myself as a base of operations there, but if they want to uh, pop themselves back into existence, then I'm not going to say no. Okay, so I've beaten the indestructible rebels. Yay. And Malacca is confined to the northern tip of Sumatra, and I don't think they have any... Oh, they have some ships left, but they're trapped in port. So, nice. I might actually be able to go back to India now. Alright, well, make sure you finish off Malacca first, since we'll want to separate piece out Malacca, I think. Sure. But no, literally, like, I, I've raised so many troops now that I, you know, I have Overkill versus Marcus, so... Uh, Alright. I'm a bit sad that the Iroquois are getting beat up as they are. 
I wish you could like project red them or something. Win this battle before the reinforcements arrive. Ah, crap, the reinforcements arrived. Let's see how it goes. It's still my three star. Oh, that was a good roll. I can't believe that battle's still ongoing. Oh. So I actually wiped the remains of Marker's army. I'm surprised Good that job. worked. Well done there! Oh. Yeah, I understand you had issues, but I'm like looking. I was paying attention to my own thing, and then I just like look over at your situation there to just completely wipe them and occupy everything. I just so oh, only uh, only Malacca. I, I had taken a big chunk of Southern India, which I've now lost. Deccan. Uh, oh, that sucks. Okay. That yeah, yeah sense. we're fighting Deccan. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll send my guys to join yours who are about to uh, have that little battle in the Straits of Malacca. Oh, it's, uh, it's okay, I think we've got this. So, Mark is, yeah, uh, wait, sorry, Straits of... Oh, okay, yeah, I see what you mean. Should be okay. Got 110 ships. They retreated somewhere. What? How did I? I just took a loan? What the heck? I was making money last time I checked. I'm still making money. Why the heck did I just take a loan? I don't understand. Uh, events? I actually don't know. Maybe. Uh, what, what did I miss? Okay, my income seems to be randomly fluctuating between uh, positive and negative. I don't really understand what's going on. What mission did it just regulate the social order? Oh! Okay. Oh, I can adopt Confucian administration now. Of the revolution. Cool. Oh, uh, Yay. wow. What the? Yeah. Now we have to say no to absolutely everyone. Oh my god. Oh god. Can we actually pause for a moment? Um, yes. Oh, oh, press and hold the enter button, it'll go faster. Yeah, I just held down the enter button. Jesus Christ. Follow me back down. Are we, uh, we good to go? Oh god, I can't wait for my income next month. Jesus Christ. I'm pausing. Yeah, since the revolution never happened, um, we just... Oh my goodness, I have monies now. No, it could do it like that. Okay, that's good. 
Yeah, that was my assumption that it was just going to die out if no one actually became revolutionary off of it. Um, question, why why Malakan province is so expensive to take in a piece uh, of Because it? they're not right. primary war target. But I thought that was the whole point of making them a co-belligerent thing. Um, oh, oh, wait, no, they uh, because it was Bengal. Who would yeah, Bengal's the co-belligerent. They're just called in as allies, so they Jesus will be relatively... Jesus Christ, so... So this this whole war that I just spent like an hour fighting, um, I can get like two or three provinces out of it. Just... We could also potentially kick a bunch of provinces out of them and then conquer those later. And also, uh, you don't worry, because you're still going to be getting stuff out of Dekan. Uh, yeah, my income just increased by 50%. That is nice. Yes. So, sorry, Cass, what do you mean by kick provinces out, out of them? Oh, basically, uh, you're going to get back to Dekan now. Since, let's see, how, yeah. how, how are they actually doing on manpower at this point? Their manpower is getting low. They have 170,000 guys and 56k manpower left. How, how's your manpower doing? Um, I've got 86,000, um, and I've got 80,000 troops in Sri oh, Lanka okay. right now. I've just finished dealing with a rebellion there. Nice. Yes, so I, can I see. Move those over to all right. To India plus, uh, like fifty thousand in Sumatra, maybe another fifty thousand I can scrape from elsewhere to cool. uh, to come over to India. All right. Yeah. Uh, don't worry too much yeah. about the whole scraping business, uh, since we're honestly doing a pretty good job of beating up Dakan. Um, we can also start looking at potential. Uh, potential peace terms for them. Since we can push them up to 10% war score if we want. Hmm. Do I? Okay, so what happens if I adopt Confucian administration? Will I need to convert everything again? If you shift to Confucian? Yes. It's just like I got the, it's like the event, I don't know what it does. Ah, uh, that part I'm not 100% on. Shinto events, I think it is. Shinto I think I have to convert everything, and it is also less cool, so. Alright, uh, Deft, I will start sending my general uh, East Indian army down towards your bit of the coast. Um, okay. I wonder if I should crank professionalism. I think it's so cute to see Hadramut and Oman helping out in my little wars. Like, look at you guys. You're adorable. My little vassal swarm.
Okay, I'm back in southern India now. Yes. You can see that the uh, armies are trying to sort of cut out this area that I've pushed my forces into. I'm going to finish the siege at uh, Kondavidu. And then we're going to head back down and deal with this, uh, the main Bahmani's army. Alright, just won the Battle of Jharkhand. Deccan's starting to get a little bit scared. They're starting to suggest peace offers and things like that. Mm. I think we can go with favor against Deccan. Um, I think so as well, especially since I slackened my recruiting standards, so I got a bunch of manpower. Oof. Alright, we've almost got our armies to meet up. Uh, by the way, yeah. you know that your army that's sitting up in Assam? Why don't you just attach it to my army that's retreating in its general direction right now? Um, sorry, where, where You've was got Assam? an army it's sitting it's in eastern India that's been there since the start of the war. Really? And um, yeah, 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 they've been sitting there for a while. Oh god, uh, I... I can't remember what is. Yeah, I see those guys in. Yeah, why don't you just rang? send them? Send them down. Yeah, that place. The rank. I yeah. had. They must have been there for like, maybe a century. Like, I literally. <laughs> well, they were last up there when I had rebels there, which was actually fairly recently. 
Okay, I do not remember sending those guys. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, so just uh, just have them greet up, meet up with my army in uh, in Lacknor, and then uh, gather there. Okay. I think I've got almost 200,000 troops in Southern India now, but they can't move because of the fortresses. Yeah. I'm just uh, working to on. siege down one of the last ones of those. Uh, Bengal keeps offering peace. Um, Bengal? What kind of uh, Okay, uh, um, well, uh, why don't we just feed as much of Bengal to me? I'll, I'll see how much I can actually take of Bengal. So uh, just okay. hold, hang on a sec. I'll see what I could potentially get out of Bengal if I was to separate piece them. Uh, I'll be able to find out in 24 days. I just had to pull back and diplomat. Uh -huh. So Deccan rebels spawn on top of my army. Oh well. These are manageable things. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Just winning a nice big battle in North India right now. Oh no! I just noticed, uh... Oops. Okay, I'm gonna stop reinforcing that battle. Uh, oh, Daph, crap. move your army in Assam over to Brodeskar, where most of my forces are gathering right now. And that's gonna be our, uh, our reinforce point. Easy, yeah, I see that. Uh, I'll make sure to enable uh, friendlies can attach. Uh, actually, let's back up from there. They're chasing us. Uh, okay, where are we going? We're backing to to uh, to Gorgat. They're they're trying to push the advantage. So we'll just go back to that territory in the northern Bengal Delta. And that's where all the units will regather. Alright, cool. They've stopped. We're looking good now. Alright. This is looking good now. 
I'm just going to let these guys have their morale and numbers recover a little bit. Uh, I'm good for going up to speed two now. Daft. Yeah, that was cool for me. I'm fine. I didn't even notice it was speed one. Happy? So you see what I'm doing is guiding these nations to the correct path and then I shall uh, ease up on the things that I take from them by breaking the vassalization and tributating them instead. You hero. <laughs> I literally cannot get a royal marriage with my own vassals because of distance between borders. Well. <laughs> That's an interesting... interesting thing there. I see we won the, the Battle of Vassal War. Yes. Nice. Oh, uh, reattach your army. Um, I didn't detach it. No, oh, okay. I, I, I might have re, re, reconsolidated my forces that led to that. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Come to Papa. That. Uh, can I release Scotland now? Scotland forever. Freedom. <laughs> no, I have to convert the other territory because for some reason. All right, everyone, would we now need to speak Chinese with a Scottish accent. Uh, literally un understandable. Why I would think Scotland that would be a hate be... crime. Why would Scotland be Protestant if their two territories that they have cores on are Confucian and Anglican? <laughs> I just want to uh, release them as a vassal and give them their land because despite all of this still being Scottish, there's actually no uh, Scottish cores on it. Besides Ayrshire and Aberdeen, not even Lothian. And this is where uh, Daft just cringes directly into the floor. From um, my terrible pronunciation. Uh, Air Ayrshire, Lothian, um, can't remember the other one that you said. Aberdeen. Ab uh, uh, yeah, Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Uh, I never oh. thought I'd say this, but I think we have overkill against uh, Deccan right now. This is certainly not overkill. This is necessary no. kill. Oh, oh, wait, yeah, I see the armies in the North Star. Yeah. That's, that's an issue. Uh, right. We're not playing around here. It's okay, Daft. As an American, I'll still have the easiest way to bother any British person. Edinburgh. What's that? Edinburgh. <laughs> well, funny enough, I think I was close to the original... Uh, Pronunciation. Because I mean, it was literally like Eden's uh, Fortress or something like that. Eden's Castle. Edensburg. Also, I should do this. Isn't it supposed to be Edinburgh? Well, I mean, that, it is now, but uh, like historically, it was. It may have been different. Maybe. A side thing um, from that war with Britain, I also took all of their African coastline. Oh. So they have the British Sahel, but uh, they have no way to get to it. <laughs> Oh, uh, Daft, could you transfer, uh, 
that area in Bengal that liberated itself briefly back to my control. Um, yeah, sorry, uh... Thank you. Da, 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 da. All right. And I'll also transfer some of the uh, the Indian area to you. Uh, I think you should have, have all the stuff that's, like, further south into the Coromandel node. Like, I don't want any territory from Bahmanis this time. Oh, right, I was going to check to see how much Bengal territory I could take. Hmm. Oh wait, hang on. I need to need to wait till I've actually got control of it first. Are we uh, unpausing for a yeah, moment? Yeah, unpause. Yeah. Oh, I see that Beng uh, Deccan army retreating. I say retreating, uh, advancing. In retreating aggressively into my territory. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. The enemy is retreating very, very alarmingly into my territory. <laughs> I did the wrong thing here. Actually, what if I... What, what uh, if I were to... Uh, like, great... Let's do a oh, great subject. Buy a Krusty Burger and pass it off as my own cooking. Mmm, <laughs> 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 delightfully devilish. I'll get the Splendor in a moment, okay. It's Splendor time! Honk honk, yeah, we're all aboard the Splendor like, bus. The Iroquois the situation is just such amazing. nonsense. Because I can't give it to New Hlavandia, because New Hlavandia isn't my vessel technically. Even technically. though... And I can't core it because it's too far from myself, and I can't give it to Holland. Holland couldn't core it. Because... I... So now, because now I'm of like, course they couldn't. Why would they? That would yeah. be easy. I'd make things simple, and we can't be having that. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's let's do a little check to see what we can potentially do for a piece here. So, if I took all of Bengal, that would only be forty-seven percent overextension. So I could potentially take Bengal and then. Let's see. Oh, and then let's let's return cores to Gujarat. Well, we'll do that. We'll do. Um, but let's see. Um, if you separate piece Bengal, can you just get all of Bengal's territory to me? Actually, let's wait a bit for that because I'm about to siege down a fort that Bengal's occupied. They might be more willing to accept that afterwards. Okay. Dokie. Um, I yes. might try just wipe, wipe uh, Deccan's fleet, uh, but I don't see it anymore. They yeah, were fighting I, my they've, they've, they've been hiding there. lately. For they went over to the yeah, they went over to the west coast of India, and I sent all my ships there. Um, there we go. Ignore crown distance. If we discard T, discarding civilization will swiftly follow. Or I could have mercantilism. I think I'll discard civilization and acquire tea. Also, uh, apparently the British wiped out Highlander culture. Oh, these was it's it's quite monsters. early in the game for that that time. And replaced Those them with Scottish. Except the Isle of Man still is Highlander. Oh, okay. That's interesting. 
the Highlanders have been exiled uh, yeah, to Yeah, check, check now to see if you could uh, separate piece out Bengal for just the complete surrender of Bengal. Uh, sorry, cool post for a moment. Uh, I'm not going to can we? Yeah, uh, so... So sorry, do you say you want me to give all of Bengal's territory to you, basically? Yeah, see, because I, I, I would be able to take that. Just see if it's, like, doable at this point in the war. Um, let's see. Does, um, does Bengal have any other territory apart from that blob? Uh, no, in... they don't. It's just that. Man. Yeah, well, that's definitely doable. That's only right, yeah, 30, then let's, let's 36%. Separate, and that's, for, is that a, a separate piecing Bengal? Uh, yeah, so okay, uh, they, are, they are negotiating for, them, for themselves. Cool. Um, uh, yeah, then just take all the territory from Bengal and as much money as you can squeeze them for. Uh, sure. Uh, anything else? Because that's only 61 well, piece of it. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's, this is separate piecing Bengal. We can literally only get Bengal to give away what mm. Bengal has. All right. And then we'll do a uh, deal with Dekka. Nice. Sweet. I remember when those guys were at all a problem for me. But no more. Also, I forget. Because I'm genuinely curious. Um, when do we normally stop? Is it one or two hours from now? Uh, well, we normally stop about okay. an hour from now or something like that. But, I mean, we'll go as long yeah. as we as we're having fun. Yeah. That's the that's the key I just, thing. I just know we probably want to go the normal time we do, but there is also the idea of uh, angst having things to do in the morning. So I yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will probably not sleep. Oh dear. Yeah. What occurs to me, Tibet what? is now a higher rank great power than me, because just by sheer development of mass. Can check that. Development. Yes they are, Tibet. about 200 more. Tibet is actually close to surpassing the Ottomans, in fact. Well. Interestingly. Oh dear, okay, so there's a big blob of rebels spawning in yeah. uh, India. Yeah, we'll I, can, I can deal with that. Alright, we're just winning the last battle of the war at Kalinjar. At least I think we're winning it. I see that. I would imagine we'd be winning it. Looks about right. to have complete occupation of them. Uh, I'll transfer occupation of any... Actually, we'll wait until we've wiped out those little rebels tax first. Yeah, uh, 80,000, but... Uh, 80,000? Okay. Sounds like easy thousand. <laughs> uh, wait, I should probably uh, put a weed on my army. Oh man, this is yeah. we can we can absolutely like spank these guys.
Okay, your only two territories are converted. What say you now, Scotland? Ah. There we go. Now they're. I read the Analects last night. This Confucius fella. Okay, now that doesn't. That's more. Is that is that slipping more into Irish or Scottish? That does sound more Irish to me. Yeah, yeah. It was like as soon as I said fella, I'm been. like, that's that's gun Irish. <laughs> Now I can pass all of their homeland back to them. And not have to deal with the plus 100% uh, liberty desire because I forced convert them because I converted their lands first. Haha. -ha. No. Oh, oh. Sensible chuckle at the XE. Yeah, we're going to be finishing up pretty soon. Next hour or so. Five fifteen. What am I gonna eat? Uh, probably around six thirty or so. Go and one last thing, Scotland. There we go. Ah yes, Chang Luo with his son James. I'm pretty sure James is the Scottish form of Chang. Uh, this is a this is linguistically uh, incorrect, isn't it? Maybe. All right. Uh, let's let's see what sort of PC we can get. Also, uh, let's just pause a moment and transfer the territories that are anywhere near the border to me, so that we don't accidentally give something to Khmer. Uh, and in like the the North Bengal area, but I think for this one now. Given that I just got all of Bengal, first of all, you prioritize as much war score as you can get away with in uh, the South Deccan area. I'll transfer that stuff to you. Sure, I'm sending you all the stuff in the north. Um... Yeah, and I'll transfer all this stuff in the south. Where? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come over here. How's it over there? Come here. Come here. Uh, right. I don't think you'll be able to take quite that far north, so that's probably... No. Uh, there's there's also two little territories over uh, in uh, western India, but I don't think either of us are going to be going that way, so let's not worry about it. I see. So, so um, how are we doing, Sen? Do you want to separate well, piece out, or should I do a... Uh, oh, well, that's a good question. Part. Maybe I should separate piece out. Well, I, the thing is, we'd have to transfer all these occupations and stuff. I think that'd be a huge pain. Uh so what, what we'd have to do is we'd transfer everything to me, and then you'd have to re-siege it yourself. So that would oh, be okay. a, a huge pain. So instead, mm. we'll do one piece. And what we'd like is returning cores to Gujarat and Bundelkhand, if at all possible. I don't think there's anything that can be returned to Bundelkhand. So just returning mm, cores to no. Gujarat and uh, taking yeah, all the territory yeah. that you want in the south. In re return cores to Gujarat, um, I don't suppose you could show or tell me which provinces you... Oh, jeez. Um, I mean, I could I could or... list uh, provinces that would be good for that. Um, let me... Um, I think they are actually in alphabetical order this time, so... Yeah, um, okay. Yeah. Um, so cores, uh, Kutch, Patan, um, okay, uh, do you know how to Sorry. see a country's cores? Uh, no, but I'm looking at the demand on, tributes and If you click on the screen. diplomatic map mode and then click on Gujarat, so it shows like your you and red uh, who your enemies are and things like that. Yeah. Uh, the little dove map mode. If you click on Gujarat, you can see da uh, dash not dashed. You can see diagonal lines across a bunch of territories. And that area is all still Gujarati cores that are owned by Deccan. Uh, right. Okay, so like, I don't think 
I don't think I can see that and look at the uh, the P Street screen at the same time. Oh yeah, don't worry. I'll, I'll I'll read out I'll read out good ones to go for. I think you're gonna have to, unfortunately. Yeah, sure. um, okay. Yeah. So. Kutch. K U T C H. So, yeah, got that one. Uh, Patan. Patan. Yep. Um. Mm -hmm. Mahikantha. Got it. Ahmadabad. Oh wait, sorry. I think that's sorry. Just got the wrong thing. That's going to you. That's okay. Return to course, so, uh, ma yep, okay, sorry, yeah, we've got ma ma Ahmadabad. Uh, yep. Jalavad. Yep. Halar. This is, uh, this is taking us up to 45% war score already. Oh, okay. So, um, let me see what the regions are. Okay, never mind Halar then. And never mind mm. Ahmadabad then. Just those four will be okay for the moment, and then why don't you oh, okay. grab uh, all the stuff that you want in the south? Uh, okay. Well, let's see. I want to get you provinces as well. Obviously. No, you so, don't. Um, no, no, no. The provinces you've given me are the ones going to Gujarat. Uh, I feel like you should have some more nope, territory. No, no. Daft, you should take everything that you want in the south, and then once you've done that, we'll give more stuff to Gujarat. Gujarat's my vassal, so I'll be able to annex it later. Oh, okay. Uh, well... Uh, yeah, also, the territory's quite expensive, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, you you only get you only get a couple, and that's fine. Yeah. All right, so I've got like a southern tip of India here. Yeah, and um, we'll so get more in the next war. We'll have time for like two or three more wars against Deccan. Oh, I, I want to check. Uh, oh, sorry, I can no, get another uh, province for Gujarat. So which? Uh, yeah, sure. If you know. take one more province for Gujarat, uh, how about um, uh, combat? K H A M. Oh. Mortal Kombat! Do, 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 Actually, do, do, do. that one's quite expensive. That's 15%. Oh, just okay, for that well, so, yeah. in that case, uh, how about instead we go for uh, Halar? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Alright. And that brings us nicely to 99% war score. Nice, let's do it. Just, I landed in the remains of our treasury, which isn't very much at all. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, piecing out. Piecing out. Are you sure you don't want any territory directly for I'm yourself? Uh, I am quite sure of that. I uh, keep in mind I just got all of Bengal. I could theoretically take up to um, up to forty, per, like another fifty percent overextension worth. Mm. Um. But no, let's let's not worry about that for now. Let's let's take this. Okay. This is this is all the war score we have. Cool. Ooh, let's right. look at the casual oh, casual attacker casualties one million, defender casualties one million. Holy heck. A hundred ships lost on the other side. Brutal. Alright, wow. I'll pause us. When you got the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight provinces. Not very much from anything. <laughs> <laughs> Given the million casualties, uh, wow, that was brutal. Just for your information because you're probably going to tribu tributary fans at some point or something. I am going to attack him next. Just so you know. Okay. I uh, may tributary Great Britain. Well, I'm honestly curious if it would be physically possible after having uh, Irish rebels pop up if I could somehow have Northumbrian rebels pop up, but I don't think that's possible because they're a subculture of English. I would like to fight Britain for colonial stuff, but it's not that important. I, I love the situation in in former Iroquois slash North, like it's complete madness. Um. How long is the... Madness? This is Japan! Yeah, it is. It is now. Wink. Uh, Russian Iceland. Yuck. Oh god. God damn it. Well, yeah, looks like I we're going not... to have to 
Looks lo looks like we're going to have to bring some more pain to the Russians uh, next. Yeah, I'm definitely off for that. Uh, like most of my army is in Europe at the moment, but I can definitely. Yeah. Well, no rush. I'm recovering manpower. Yeah, I basically rinsed my manpower in that war. Yeah, we are we are thoroughly rinsed. We are soggy now. <laughs> Well, on the topic of manpower, I should be, uh, bullying Spain, and then bullying Portugal directly off of that, because they're not allied. But Spain is guaranteeing the independence of Portugal, so if I beat up Spain enough, and then declare on Portugal, it'll be two, just two separate wars. Big think. Big think. Dot. WebM, I don't know. Oh wow, when did I get access to Marines? To actually have Marines. I don't think I've ever used Marines, even though those are old news. Aren't know they also like. kind of objectively bad unless you have huge numbers of sailors? I don't even know how to train Marines. Uh, I would to use the... Uh, production interface to build some troops and uh, there's marines there but they use sailors instead of manpower but they don't take negatives from amphibious landings. I don't see them at all. Maybe I can't get them so Yeah I don't even know how to get them. <laughs> okay. I will train some Good troops up. in the Russian area now. Because... Oh you could recruit up to 5% of your force limit as marines due to 5% Due to being fully naval ideas. Well, that's a meme. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. I mean, it. Yeah, so if I, I, I guess it's useful just because sailors are so limited, so I don't know. Yeah, it's just if you're doing island hopping against AI that are gonna have a lot of troops there, it's helpful, but other than that. Find it funny that I have no almost 370 manpower, and I can recruit 18 marines. Not even a full compliment. Just, I guess that's one for one stack of. Cause yeah, I use 14 infantry. Being dandy and separatists. Greenland, what? really. Vinland. Oh. Uh, yeah, because there's no reason. Interestingly enough. Alright, what is the military strength of Spain? Uh, enough that I need more people there. Got it. I should leave those people over there. So I guess I have to sail all the way over... Homeland. You're tributary people in the whole Roman Empire. Like, how much of a mess can we make here? Oh, goodness. Uh, with imperialism, I can tributary anyone. It just costs me 200 nice. diplomatic power. Hmm. You can too, since you're uh, yeah. an Asian nation. I believe you get access to tributaries. Training Asian dragoons and stuff in the Netherlands. <laughs> I 
I am doing what the British never did and actually bringing the economy to the African coastline. Clearly I am the superior option. Just ignore all the people that died on the way here. Of course. I mean, you get supported with meeples on that. That's no one. That's what you uh, do, right? <laughs> Good. Oh, because seat of strong aristocrats. Okay. I was gonna say, why would it take 128 months to convert Lothian? That's why. Oh, wow. Also, they haven't now recorded it yet. Alright. Happy New Year. Now I can finally invest in these technologies I've been holding off on for all that time. Technically, it's still one year ahead of time. I know, I know. I just, I, I, I like getting that little boost of, uh, of innovativeness. Also, my trade income is now finally up to 90. I'm actually getting, I got the Silk Road challenge recently. Yay. I am, uh, also doing the impossible. And uh, maybe uniting the cultures of Africa. Ooh. They're going to be split between uh, Zulu and Swahili. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Shona, but it's basically the Zulu nations, so. Well. See, these Irish will never be hap happy. They're Irish, ruled by an Irish, and they're still rebelling. Never mind the fact that the, that the Irish that's ruling them um, is currently a Chinese Confucian person, but... Uh, <laughs> well. Much to my intense Confucian. Boo. The thing that cracks me up is that that war that we just fought did a lot to reduce my aggressive expansion. Hmm. Uh, interesting. How war? Uh, well, probably. because I didn't take things for myself, I took it for other people. Uh huh. Mostly. Then... Disregard what I did to Bengal. <laughs> that doesn't count. There was no little ghost boy.
something oddly satisfying about having enough money to build a uh, great temple in literally every province at once. It's a good time. At least every province in mainland China. Although we try, the uh, colonial places are still a little bit behind in terms of development to get to all of the buildings. Alright, as soon as my boat gets to Portugal with a stack of troops, I should... Oh, time for something stupid. Something stupid? I like this sound of something stupid. Japanese Canada. As I get the rest of my men to Portugal, uh, it's on Spain and Pope. This, oh my god, it happened where I am. Oh, it's truly a glory. Hundred every power, twenty prestige, plus one possible number of buildings, which is the memeiest. The oh, industrial oh revolution. Oh my goodness! Happened in my capital, no less. Oh, nice. Now let's steal this. Yeah. Europeans ain't getting none of this. So, Daft, mm -hmm. next time around, uh, you can just, like, solo solo CB Malacca, I think. With the yeah, Imperialism. um, Brunei is aligned to the Ottomans, so that's a bit of an issue. Well, yeah, yeah, you just don't co-CB Brunei. Mm. You attack Malacca, you get to take out a bunch of Brunei. Actually, oh yeah, yeah, they're aligned, okay. Yeah, I was just scoping out how that might work. Sound the horns. Hawk, I hawk. so want to co CB the Pope and do stupid stuff, but I would, I, nah. Call in too many people, call in Portugal too. Now, since this is against Spain, um, I do have a question for yes. a certain for a certain Japanese man. Yes, I would probably like to, to help there. Is the question, are you ready to rumble? Because the answer is, heck yeah, brother. Yeah, do you want to chew on a bunch of, potentially chew on a bunch of Spanish Louisiana? I actually love that, but can, can we wait for one year and two months? Sure. My army is ready. Uh, some of the divisions are still recovering from sailing we'll probably, across the ocean. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll... Oh god, I have to fight in goddamn New World again. Okay, um, I will send to... <laughs> I mean, you don't need to. I'll just take more of the mainland if you don't... Yeah, I actually don't think I need to do much, honestly. I think, like, even though Spanish Louisiana and everything has quite big armies... Um, you know what? Actually, all of the... Don't compare at all, that's annoying. Um, I think I have to move my troops then. Okay.
Yes, I want to tear away all their islands. I want to take the two Filipino territories, give them to uh, glorious Cambodia. What? And that's, that's another merchant. Let's see, how is the industrialization spreading? Yes. The, the answer to, is it spreading? Yes. And is it Lhasa? Yes. It spreads well. Um, the more innovativeness you have, the seems it goes up higher. Mm -hmm. Owner is strongest trade power in trade node with industrialization, so that helps. Have a furnace and is on the same continent as industrialization earn it origin, so that should actually help all of you guys. Yay. I believe. But nice. Now it's annoying. Okay. No, we don't want to do that. Okay, got that. Right. Policies. Please go for Den Haag from... There you go. Thank you. They did it again. This is so annoying. But not what? Okay, good. Thank you. So, uh, are we talking about attacking Spain soon or next session? Uh, I think very soon. Actually, actually. Will be, yeah, probably within the. Uh... I'm down for that. I'm gonna say I don't necessarily think I need Kimmer help, but oh, oh I don't like tell. Nonetheless, yeah. love to get in on that party. There, so Spain's in the Philippines and uh, yeah, in the Philippines. Uh, but yeah. I mean, I wasn't sure if you were going to have the men and fleet power to readily do it. Oh, I have no clue yeah. where they'll sail to. Yeah, my manpower is still quite low, but let's have a look at Spain's fleets. Um. Okay, so apparently I have the, the most heavy ships in the world. Um. And most light ships. Yeah, I don't have any light ships. Jesus Christ, that uh, that 770 fleet power is definitely something. Oh God, who's that? Uh, is this you? Oh, right, yeah, my force met. Jeez, yeah, it's, uh, I want quality and um, is it maritime ideas? And exploration and expansion, so I guess those are all stacking up. Yeah, it's almost a hundred percent increase. Yeah, wow. And you just have a lot more coastline than I do, of course. Oh, yeah. nice. Deccan just got hit by internal conflicts. You'd love to Couldn't see it. Couldn't to a nicer person. <laughs> <laughs> I can appreciate that the uh, final boss is Deccan. Instead mm. of, you know, mm. once again, uh, and again. I mean, I think the Ottomans that. might be a bit more of a final boss, since I think Deccan is now in a point where, like, they're running out of friends. Their they're only alliance is with Delhi, and Delhi can't stand on their own. I mean, yeah, it's just the idea of... Uh, it's nice to have someone who's directly in our way that isn't the Ottomans or Russia. Even though technically both of those are also still true. 
finally revealed the whole world. Oh, except the Great Lakes. Okay. Ah oh, yes, Earl Jianze Lu. All right. Truly. Jesus Christ, Portuguese, Me Port Portuguese Mexico, can you stop? Like you lost the war. God damn it. Seven years, and then I'm gonna go to war with Delhi. I swear to God, if. I see new Providence boats in the Pacific when I declare war on Spain. <laughs> I understand they're pirates, vaguely makes sense, but you're in the Caribbean. That's your one territory. Where do Incidentally, you uh, thanks. If you want to go to war with Russia again, I'll be, uh, I'm now in a state where I can potentially fight them once more. I would love to. I'm currently, currently yeah. fighting Spain in a moment. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, what was the, also, call me in on Spain. I'll I'll do some like Tibetan Marine nonsense. <laughs> Tibetan Marines. Let's see here. So it's now September, and uh, not quite yet. 29th of September. After that, I'm basically off. Yeah, so I've got 200,000 troops, 500 ships, and I'm uh, more than willing to join in against Spain. If nothing else, to get them out of the Philippines. On the 9th, I now start annexing Holland. Oh, I Go. see. Uh, I'm really not. Holy heck, you're, you're annexing Holland? Yes. I uh, want the like, colonies, so now I'm annexing them. Including, like, the mainland? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, specifically mainland. the mainland. Holy heck. Wow. <laughs> to be fair, they're kind of small, so it's, it's doable. It's thoroughly doable. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how long this will take, though. Mm. No, only 20 years. Okay, that's too cool. But yeah, I'm basically ready for the war now. Alright. Let's plunge the world into darkness once more. All, all of what I'm doing here is actually probably unnecessary. I just want to, um, like, uh, just make sure that my colonies don't burn too much, I guess, maybe. Yeah. Did you want to join as well, Tibet? Of course! Asia United, go! Walms! Walms, one of this. And this time I'll actually remember... to uh, get what I need to from Spain this time, instead of just taking a bunch of mainland. Yeah, the Dutch are fighting them too, I guess. Yeah. Alright, it's time for me to start going with my tiny little dinky fleet and take Diego Garcia. The ancient Tibetan territory of Diego Garcia. Yeah. <laughs> it has been move. Tibetan land since time immemorial, you know. Yeah, we, we can't remember the time. Um, I'm pretty sure Diego, <laughs> um, that is uh, an old Tibetan name. Yes. Uh, that's a, that's a Dago Garci, um, which is an ancient Tibetan figure of speech for we definitely own this don't check why what don't you trust me there we go well i'm convinced yeah exactly i'm known as a convincing person uh. oh.
Yeah, Spain is basically just storming throughout my the colonies, but that's that's fine. Holy Toledo, that was quick. Look at the uh, Spain's war map, by the way. Damn. It's looking good. You already see the capital? Oh my god. The Tibetan coast is long, my friends. Where is the fleet? Where did I leave it? Literally right there. Mm. Please blockade Gibraltar so I can go through, please. Uthanadi separatists in South India. Yeah, I see that. I can do. So idle question, is there any particular bits of uh, the new world that you're looking at in particular? Not really anything would work, I guess. Like, the problem is, like, Luciana is obviously the best to get, but then... Um... Oh my god, Portuguese make Mexico, can you stop? Uh... <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, Luciana takes like 71% war score or something, so it's like... Uh, so is the Ming going to be taking all these Indian Ocean Islands? Yes. Alright, I'll transfer them. Well, I, hmm. I will transfer them to you, yeah. Were you also, I called you no. Ming. I'm very sorry. It's okay, we only remembered and, uh, you will find... We wrote it down on the list. <laughs> Confucius say, insult goes on list. Like how I have Chinese soldiers marching next to uh, Spanish men with tricorns, or bicorns. Also, uh, look at friggin' Hadramaut, absolute hero vassal. Oh, just like stealing look. land for you. Actually, look at Mikishigo. They did it. They won the goddamn war finally. That's good for them. And yeah, that's a lot of land. Too. And uh, you guys have dealt with uh, that stuff in the Philippines? Uh, yep, I mean, I'm leaving an army here just in case they come back to it. Okay. Uh, yeah, it'll be a siege oh. down very soon. Uh, I just see a 51 strength fleet of Floridians just showed up. Uh, whereabouts? Uh, Southern Indian Ocean, just north of Mauritius. They just went up. Um, oh, uh, yeah. okay. They're, so they're, I was. They're heading to the Central Indian Ocean right now. 
Where's my, uh, where's my battle fleet? Oh, whoops. If there uh, is anyone that I would expect to do that, it would definitely be the Floridians. Well, thank you for the intelligence. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm chasing them down with my fleet right now. Oh, they're off the coast of Madagascar and they're running. Oh, and someone has to have intelligence, right? I remember when I had <laughs> intelligence. That's pretty nice. Uh, you know, what? I've well, given up on chasing them. They're too fast. Too fast to be chased. Can't do it. Well, I'm sending my battle fleet to the uh, southern coast of India anyway because I, I had rebellion spawn. Ain't no fleet like a battle fleet. Indeed. Oh, uh, yeah, the Gilbert Islands. I need to go back to the uh, South Pacific. I'm going to um, land some guys in South Africa. It occurs to me I had army, an army there to siege that, and I was so busy elsewhere, I forgot to move it. Oh, so you don't need anyone to land there, eh? Correct. So you... Alright, well in that case I'll just move on to Brazil, I guess. No, You're uh, the Malvinas, aka the Falklanders. You're going to Brazil! The boys from Brazil are back. Hollanders sieging. Never mind. That's what I get for praising a Dutch person. Uh, what, are the, what are they been doing? They nothing were worthy of praise, I assure you. Oh, it's in Rome. Yeah. That's kind of funny. Yeah. And then they decided, you know what? I don't actually want to be here and just started to walk away. <laughs> Mid siege. Lol, Delhi just diplomatically insulted me. You may be seconds away from death, mon ami. Alright, I'm gonna take St. Helena. Oh god, I'm not gonna take St. Helena. Oh. Battle on the yeah, southern okay. coast. I Sorry, uh, oh. Cape of Good Hope battle is happening there. I was gonna say try and land in... Well, I was going by because you told me not to, remember? Well, I meant dock. As you well, saw, I, 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 I tried, but you see, I couldn't. Yeah. However, this fleet isn't very good. You see, this is only a Castilian-Brazilian fleet. 